Jesus is the answer for the world today. Hello, family. Pastor Laulu here from Christian Pentecostal Church with another one of our daily devotionals. And uh, today we're going to try a little something different. And the title of this message is, or this devotional is, Faith Comes by Hearing All Things Are Possible. Hmm. Um, I've said it before, and I guess I'll say it again. I've said it for multiple devotionals. I can sit here and talk all day for, you know, as long as I want. But the true the true sword that divides, the true soul piercer, uh, so to speak, the true, the thing that actually causes truth to permeate, to change, is the Word of God. So, before I say anything else, um, we're going to read some scripture. Um, and I'm going to be reading 14 verses of scripture today, and then chat a little bit afterwards, but... The first verse of scripture is found in Romans chapter 10, verse 17, which would then justify me reading the remaining 13. Um, <laughs> Romans chapter 10, sorry, did I say Romans chapter 10, verse 17. So, so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So what I'm going to read to you is the word of God and by you hearing it, May we grow in faith. So all things are possible. I'm going to read in 13 verses. First one is found in Matthew chapter 19, verse 26. And my suggestion is that, you know, take these verses down and uh, they are very, I don't know why the word potent comes to mind, but they're very they're pertinent, especially in these times we live in. So, Matthew 19, 26, and, and looking at them, Jesus said to them, with people, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. The next one is Philippians 4, 13, says, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Luke 1, 37, for nothing will be impossible. Mark 9, 23. And Jesus said to him, If you can, all things are possible to him who believes. Mark 10, 27. Looking at them, Jesus said, With people it is impossible, but not with God, for all things are possible with God. Matthew 17, 20. And he said to them, Because of the littleness of your faith, for truly I say to you, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible to you. Romans 8.31 What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who is against us? Luke 18.27 but he said the things that are impossible with people are possible with God. Job 42, verse 2. I know that you can do all things and that no purpose of yours can be thwarted. <clears throat> all things. Mark eleven twenty four. Therefore, I say to you, all things for which you pray and ask, believe that you have received them and they will be granted you. Jeremiah 32, 17. Ah, Lord God, behold, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and by your outstretched arm. Nothing is too difficult for you. Funny, that one reminds me of a song. Ah, Lord God, thou hast made the heavens and the earth by thy great power. Ah, Lord God, Thou hast made the heavens and the earth by the outstretched arm. Nothing is too difficult for Thee. Nothing is too difficult for Thee. Great and mighty God. Great and great and, great and mighty in deeds. Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. Nothing is too difficult for Thee. 
Genesis eighteen fourteen. Is anything too difficult for the Lord? At the appointed time, I will return to you. At this time next year, and Sarah will have a son. And our thirteenth verse, Isaiah forty six ten, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times things which have not been done, saying. My purpose will be established and I will accomplish all my good pleasure. Faith comes by here. All things are possible. In the year 2020, you know, it has been a very um, un unprecedented, unprecedented year for a number of us. And, um, you know, I know as we're wrapping up the year, it might seem like we begin to lose hope as we march into, I guess, the second wave of coronavirus and things beginning to shut down again and things looking bleak as we enter the holiday seasons, as we march towards Thanksgiving and we march towards Christmas and New Year's. Um, but I want to encourage us today that we should not lose hope because nothing is too difficult for God. And we are children of the living God, and with him all things are possible. You know, um, one thing we've been talking about um, is just the ability to be thankful. And as we march towards Thanksgiving, it's uh, we might look at 2020 and say, oh man, this year has been horrible. But the very fact that we can wake up and breathe, that we can roll out of bed or step out of bed or open our eyes. Those are things in themselves to be thankful for. The Bible says in all things to give thanks because it's the will of the Father concerning you. And, you know, it's, it's just, I don't, I essentially am encouraging, trying to encourage myself, encouraging others that as we march towards the end of this year, Nothing is too difficult for God. You know, we look at our families, you know, this this time that we've had has had has given us moments to draw closer to one another or to unveil the the hard things or the things that have been hidden, that have been that needs to be worked out or worked on within our family structures or within ourselves. And let us trust in God knowing that his word is true. Let our faith arise and let it grow. Because if I could read just 13 verses about nothing being nothing being impossible for God, that there's nothing too difficult for him to handle. And that's without even going to account upon account upon account of what he's done. Of his mighty power then, you know, it makes me begin to ask the question, why should we fear? Why should we concern knowing full well that our God has us in the palm of his hand and he will never let us go? So, you know, it's one of those words like 2021, come what may, I trust Jesus. 2020, come what may, I trust Jesus. Because he has promised to never leave, never forsake. He has promised to keep us, even in this life and the next. And that is where my faith, and that is where our faith should rely. That's where she'll reside. Knowing that our God is all-powerful. And that our God is a consuming. So let our faith arise in hearing the word of God. And let us remember that with God, nothing is impossible. So there is no battle. There is no difficulty. There is no situation. There is no illness too great for our God. God bless you. Mm -hmm.